Is it possible to build a six figure coaching business? Can you do it? In a previous video, we talked about how to build a successful life coaching business, but today I specifically want to talk about scaling it up. How do you build a six figure and is seven figure even possible? Let's talk about that. The majority of my clients are coaches and the clients that I have helped with this strategy I'm gonna show you, they have six figure, seven figure, and some of them even have eight figure businesses just from this business, just providing coaching so it is possible. And I'm gonna show you the strategy that I follow. Okay, so in a previous episode, I talked about the three different areas of business, right? You've got a master lead generation where do your coaching clients come from how do you convert those leads into coaching clients and how do you fulfill on that i spent a whole video really talking about delivery of the outcomes and having the fulfillment be the heavy part well this episode i'm going to really focus on the lead generation and teaching you my system this is a system that i followed with every one of my clients and you got to start with step one there are people that have tried to copy my system but they usually skip this step and include some of the other ingredients and they just don't get results. Okay, so when I say here, find a specific question, there are people around the world right now that don't know that you exist. They have questions. They go to Google, they go to YouTube, and they type these questions in, and what do they find? Whoever they find, that is their hero, and that's likely the person that they're gonna hire as their coach. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is how these people who've never heard of you before, they type in this question, they're gonna find you. You're the perfect person to answer this question. So when we do some research, and we find the specific questions that your target audience is asking. Once you do that, you can then move on and you can outline your content. So don't think about what content do I want to create? Ooh. I've got this great method or I've got this great model. I want to teach that in a video because if people saw the model that I teach, then they'll definitely want to hire me. That's not how it works. These people have never heard of you before. You've got to focus your video answering their question. And so step two is to outline an answer that's not about you, but it's about their question. You're just answering their question. You don't need to promote yourself. You don't tell them any, any branding or, or any case studies or success stories. You can do that subtly if it helps to answer the question, but have the video be about them and getting an answer to their question, really giving them help without knowing about you, your company, anything like that. Now, these three steps are about the recording of the video. And I've got a whole other episode where I go into great detail about the recording of that. You've really got to focus on the intro and making sure that your intro is done in a way that will make people wanna watch all the way to the end because it's very, very common for people to click on a video, watch it for 30 seconds, maybe watch it for a minute and then they leave. And how do you get them to watch a full 10 minute episode? So you've got to practice your intro and setting hooks and creating curiosity in the beginning. A simple way of saying it is to really sell them on watching the video. So again, you're not selling your services, you're not selling who you are, your credibility, anything like that, but you're letting them know, hey, if you spend the next 10 minutes with me, here's the outcome, here's what you're gonna get by watching this video. And then you deliver your content. You know the answer, that's why you've built this coaching business. And then at the end of the video, you've got to give them a free gift. If you don't give them a free gift, then how are they gonna become a lead in your business? So you deliver them value, and you deliver your call to action. That's what CTA stands for. So this is the recording of the video. Then you've got to create a thumbnail. I've got another video that goes into great detail on thumbnail creation. So make sure you're a subscriber on this channel. You're gonna launch the episode. The question that you researched and found, that's gonna be the title of your episode. You're gonna email them because email is the most important place that you're gonna communicate with them. Actually, it's not your channel. Let's talk about this for a minute. Let's compare it to Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast is a channel that I subscribe to and I watch every episode that he puts out. That's what he wants. He wants to get subscribers that will watch every single episode that he puts out. Now he's got approaching 240 million subscribers and he would love to be able to launch a video and get 240 million views 
on that video. In some of his videos, he gets pretty close to that. If you want to build a six-figure coaching business leveraging YouTube, you actually don't want to follow in the footsteps of Mr. Beast. What you want to do is have people that are searching and asking questions that you're an expert at helping. You want them to find you on YouTube and then you want them to join your email list and you want them to read every single email that you send out. If they never go back to YouTube again and never watch a single episode, that would be sad but it doesn't matter because they are now on your email list and they're in your business. Let me tell you a story about Noelle Randall and how she built a six figure, in fact, $6 million per year business providing real estate coaching. She teaches people how to do Airbnb real estate investing. Now she at first offered a program. It was a six month program and she charged $5,000 for it. And during those six months, she would guide you through the steps and, and help you purchase a vacation rental property that was positive cash flow. And so by the end of the six months, you'd have at least one property that had positive cash flow. So she had this program that worked. She had a track record of success and her leads came from Facebook. She was paying a lot of money and spending a lot of time tweaking her Facebook ads to get herself in front of people to advertise her business so that they would then become a lead. She would get a percentage of those onto a sales conversation, either on the phone or on Zoom, and typically one out of three people would purchase her coaching program. Now, she had built her business to about $1 million. So in the previous year, prior to working with me, she had built her business to a $1 million through Facebook ads selling this $5,000 coaching program. It was a lot of time and effort and hard work, but there were great results. Then she learned about me and she learned about this strategy here and we started and we followed all of these steps. This part right here was actually really challenging for Noelle, but she got really good at it. Today, she's really, really good at setting hooks. She had never done this in her videos before and now she's really, really good at it. And still to this day, I've been working with her for four years now, we are still doing this and her channel is increasing. But to finish the story, we started filming these videos that answered the question and posting them to YouTube. And within three months, she was able to completely turn off Facebook. So she had built a seven figure business with Facebook ads and this YouTube strategy worked well enough that she could turn off Facebook because the leads that came from YouTube were so far superior. She was handling all the strategy sessions and some days she was doing as many as 10 strategy sessions a day. She had a waiting list of two and a half months so she was keeping herself very, very busy. Her channel continued to grow. And so she had a problem. How did she keep up with all of these leads? She already had a two and a half month waiting list. Well, some of her students that went through her program and had these vacation rental properties, she had them do these strategy sessions and they could say, hey, yeah, I went through Noelle's program. It worked really well. These are the properties that I have and we'd love for you. If you want to get those same results, we'd love to help you out. So Noelle was able to take a step back. Once she built these systems, she was able to hire some of her coaches to help step in and carry some of that workload. And growing her business that way, she was able to scale her business even more to the tune of $6 million in a year. And her time is a lot more freed up. One detail that I wanted to share with you is she did find that $10,000 was a price point people were willing to pay for that same program that she originally sold for 5,000. She found that the value was great enough and people really didn't have a problem with actually paying $10,000 for that program. So I share that with you because if you follow the lead generation system that we've talked about, you can know that a $10,000 price point is very realistic. Now, if you're serious about growing a six figure coaching business, I have a gift for you. I put two years of work into this book that I want to give you as a gift. This book will teach you all the ins and outs, take you behind the scenes of many stories like Noel Randall, but show you all the steps that we took on how to leverage YouTube to generate leads for your business. And as long as you cover the printing and the shipping cost, then this is my gift to you. No profit to me. Go to natesyoutubebook.com and dive right in and you can follow the same system.